going on up here i just i like can't even care about my hair right now so like basically this video um i just want to like talk about how hectic life gets like for me in med school okay a week ago i was in beijing and then last week i was here and trying to catch up with what i missed while i was in beijing still haven't caught up and that's mostly because i was trying to first catch up with the exam that i missed when i was in beijing we were supposed to write it because the exam was actually the day that we came back but we didn't arrive on time but then now we're going somewhere else like we're going to xian on thursday and so now i literally have to write the exam before we go like the dean of international affairs whatever told me to go and talk to the dean of medicine and then he's the one who's going to arrange the exam for me and my classmate who's also on my team so i need to do that somewhere between my two classes that i have and so yeah hopefully he will try to schedule a time for me to do it before the trip and not after because like you know the feeling of having something impending you like can't focus on anything else other than that thing and that's literally what i've been feeling for the past week since I came back from Beijing and it's just horrible. didn't even take long i was in and out so uh, he says we can write on thursday morning which is the day after tomorrow and thursday also happens to be the day that we're leaving so i'm literally going to have an exam in the morning and then rush back get my bag and go to the airport so how you insert the catheter assisted by the so it takes five years to master this i'm at a cafe i really like this cafe i think it's so cute and i'm just going to do some reading done here before i go home and continue reading there because you know exam is tomorrow i managed to pack most of my stuff like all my clothes are in the only thing i need to add is like my gadgets and my toiletries which i can only add tomorrow because i'm still using those things today and tomorrow and yeah so hopefully i'm about to have a fruitful little steady session and have some bomb coffee to tell me why thank you uniform which is just this really warm hoodie and uh, my gown and this is literally what I'm going to be wearing every night for winter probably well if not the same hoodie then a different one but anyway that's besides the point as you can see I have things going on in my face I decided to put on some drying cream if you guys don't know about Mario Badescu drying lotion let me plug you right now that drying lotion is amazing like this pimple that's been bothering me since last night or whenever it came onto my face i noticed it yesterday probably when i wake up tomorrow it will be gone and then because i put too much i decided to just put on any other small lur um pimples that i could see that were annoying me and so yeah
morning beautiful people it is 6 40 a.m and yeah i didn't i wouldn't say i like had a restful like peaceful sleep or whatever because i was asleep probably by 1 a.m i woke up at 3 i woke up at 4 woke up again at 5 and woke up again at 6 and it's just like it's always like that probably like it's, it's usually like that when i have exams like my heart is not at peace you know and yeah but i did get some sleep i got more than i actually expected because i know myself usually during exam season i actually can't sleep like even if i feel like i'm ready and yes, I know the exam is going to be super, super easy. Like, if we've got reviews for the topics coming and stuff, then, yeah, I can sleep peacefully. But usually, nah. And so I did some reading while, like, when I wake up, and then, like, I read something until I fall asleep again. And then when I wake up again, I'll continue. And it's not even like I need to set an alarm or anything. My body just wakes me up. It's like, y'all, you better not be sleeping. <laughs> and, you yeah, know, so... I'm going to get out of bed at 7. I just want to read through my summaries. And then, yeah, that's it, guys. Like, honestly, my brain is saturated. I feel like the more I read, the more stuff I forget. So, hopefully, the exam will be good to me because I've tried. <laughs> I've tried my best. And I hope my best will be good enough. And, yeah. And then... I do have a lot to do after the exams, so anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we get there for now. I'm just going to finish reading what I was reading, my summaries, and then get out of bed, shower, eat, and head to school. I'm looking like a fried egg, but anyway, I am ready to go. Well, I'm not ready, but I'm going. And oh yeah, guys, look, my pimple's gone. See? It works. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to head to school now, and... <sighs> So anxious. Let's go. Walking to my exam now. I'm done. The exam went well. I'm so glad. Like I was panicking in the morning, and because he came late, I was even like, oh my goodness, this man is like making sure we have a really hot paper. But anyway, yeah. So I'm done, and now I'm gonna rush to my class which started an hour ago. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I got back last night. The only thing I did was go straight to bed. Or well, I showered and went straight to bed. And then this morning, I woke up and went to class. It was my last neurology class of the semester. And... I was so boring and I could barely keep my eyes open but yeah I'm very tired obviously like mentally I'm okay but like physically I'm exhausted so I'm just gonna take it easy for this this week and kind of plan out the rest of my semester guys it's so cold my face is like white <laughs> I'm going from outside anyway um yeah so my plan for this of the semester is and my plan for this of the week is I can I can't even like talk properly but anyway my plan for the rest of this week is to just plan out my semester and kind of get back into the swing of things. Such a festive vibe, such a festive vibe. Company, it's a no good, but we were so good, yes. Thank you for a week of unforgettable. That's why we are doing the teaser thing, man. No, it's not. If you knew that this place would be sitting there, then we could come on the machine. Come on in. Guys. Basically, for the past five years, I've not had a decent like Christmas or a New Year celebration or anything like that. 
because our exams here start like around Christmas week and end like mid January or so. So yeah, my first exam is on the 2nd of January um, and I'm starting with neurology so I've been studying and I'm basically just like going through the stuff now and making sure like I know my stuff and like testing myself, doing questions, doing as many like summary notes and stuff that I can and yeah so basically this is what my festive season looks like i look like a mess i'm always tired but um yeah it is what it is it is currently 4 36 a.m on tuesday wednesday the 2nd of january um i've been sitting in this position since around 8 p.m on Tuesday the 1st of January oh happy new year guys so yeah I spent most of my 1st of January studying and then I took a nap from like 7 to 8 it is post first exam which was neurology I literally just got in hey guys so whoo it's cold um I just wrote my fourth exam uh, that was ENT or otorhinolaryngology whatever you want to call it it went okay a lot better than my previous exam um, ophthalmology was horrible for me anyway and um, yeah so four down three to go Woo. six papers down one more to go uh, I'm tired I'm hungry I'm just tired I'm at the point where I'm even asking myself like why am I even doing this but you know uh, send help <laughs> done with exams guys can you see my eyes <sighs> I fought a battle I fought a battle guys I fought a battle <laughs> Anyway, first things first, I'm going to have some food, like my first decent meal in weeks.